Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to introduce you to the spectrogram on Chrome Music Lab. So the spectrogram right here, what a spectrogram is, is a scientific instrument. And it analyzes sound and it shows you frequencies. So it listens to a sound and it shows you this thing called frequencies. What's a frequency? Well, a frequency is like this little invisible note that you hear, but you don't realize you're hearing. So anytime you have a note, I call it the fundamental note, you have frequencies, little invisible notes above it that are being played. Let me show you. If I click on an instrument here, it shows you the frequencies. So I'm gonna click on the flute. The largest one on the bottom is the actual note that we hear. And these little ones above it are the frequencies, the little invisible notes that are also being played. And that gives the flute its unique sound or its unique character. Let's listen to how the frequencies are different on an instrument like the harp. Are there more frequencies or less? So you have the low notes, then you hear the invisible notes up there. Notice how the higher up it gets, the quieter it is. Okay, how about whistling? A lot less frequencies. There's not as many up above that note. That's why the whistle just sounds so plain. It's not as rich as something like the flute. Lots of frequencies up there. Okay, how about a trombone? Whoa! That's a lot of frequencies. A lot of these little invisible notes that are being played up there. How about this one? Or a bird. A lot of little frequencies up here. Okay, how about a, a modem? Here's the note. You have little frequencies up here. Or a wine glass, where if you take a glass and you um, rub your finger around the top of it, it creates these sounds. Okay, but here's the cool thing about this. Here's where you're gonna experiment. You're gonna find an instrument, or even whistle, or even your voice, and you can analyze the frequency. So if I press this button, test, test, la. Wow, my voice has a lot of frequencies to it. How about if I take an instrument like the ukulele? Let's hear what kind of frequencies it has. It's a lot of frequencies. What if I do a higher note? It has lots of frequencies at the at the beginning, and then they sort of die off. See, so it's analyzing my voice. What if I do a whole chord? Wow, a whole chord has lots of frequencies to it. Okay, let's try another instrument. Ooh, I actually have a flute, so we're gonna do a live flute. So you see the fundamental note and then some notes above it. All right, how about a boom whacker? So I have a boom whacker here. You see the thick note on bottom and then the frequencies above it. I have the same boom whacker. It's just an octave higher. Hard to hear a clear note because there's so many frequencies being played. All right, the last instrument I want to show you is a piano. That's a lot of frequencies. If I play a low note on a piano, that's a lot of frequencies that are being played right there. So here's what I want you to do. Go around, see if you can find some instruments around your house and analyze the frequencies of it. Here, I can turn this off. 
So find some instruments, even if you don't have an instrument, find anything that vibrates, something like a percussion instrument, the drum that you're using, anything, and go and analyze the frequencies to it and try a few different ones out and see how they might be different. So have fun with that.